Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. I'm just here to do a quick kind of unboxing flip through of this really beautiful um, Oracle deck <coughs> that I've just got a hold of. Um, I have to be honest, this is brand new to me. I don't know if it's brand new in general, um, but I'd never seen it before and I saw a couple of cards um, in a group that I belong to, like, um, like a development group. And, um, it was just stunningly beautiful. Not my usual thing at all. Um, but I just was really, really, um, I don't know, really drawn to it. I think it was published in 2015, this is saying, but I've never come across this before. So, you know, it's, um, it's quite unusual for me to find um, decks that I've not seen before but this is one that I've not seen before so um, just to let you know I have to obviously I've taken it out of the packaging and I've taken it out of the original um, box that it was posted in <coughs> excuse me I have um, also taken off the plastic wrapping and the plastic wrapping inside as well um, because that just wastes so much time so I'm going to have a little look it comes in a really nice pull out box it's got this really lovely um, illustration on the front. This is Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. So that's the box. And then we have this little piece of paper in here. Not quite sure what this does, but it's there. So then we have a little a guidebook, a little guidebook. Um, it's not really thick. It's just, um, it's quite thin. But it just goes through each of the cards, just talks about um, this printing is 2019. Um, looks like 2015, it was originally um, put out and it's it's published by Blue Angel. So it has a little guidebook instructions, talking about reading your cards. And there's a little spread there, I think. Let's just see. Um, yeah, there's a couple of little spreads. Um, and then the card messages, just a little picture of each of the cards, it's all in black and white, um, and a little description of them, and goes up to deck fifth, uh, card 50, so you've got 50 cards here, and then you've got a little bit about the author, and a little bit about the artist, and then just some, um, other decks that looks like they've um they've produced okay so this is the little book so that's that and then these are the cards um i've only i've seen a couple of these um but i just loved them when i looked at them online um and i just i haven't looked at anybody else's flip throughs um, but they're just so pretty. And this really is not usually my style. I'm more of a kind of drama queen than a pretty, um, card person. But these are stunningly beautiful. Really, really pretty. Lovely colours. Love all the kind of, the spirals. Just fab. So you've got your dolphins in there and your horses. This is pause. Clear out the old. So much going on in these cards. You really seriously could look at them for hours and hours and just spend so much time getting into those like a little fantasy world see i say i'm not into the pretty stuff but i do quite like the fantasy world type of thing um there we go um amplify your positive emotions how pretty it's just really strange because it's like this is almost like a photograph of water and then this is clearly a painting i will read through a bit more and see what exactly what the artist says um but these are fab. Really love these. Um, 
they are a little bit stuck together but that's not unusual in a new deck they are matte um a matte finish and they're quite big you know they're bigger than your usual tarot card but probably around about the same size as a your standard oracle deck if there is such thing that's a beautiful card that's a beautiful card as well it's a lot i mean i know it's nature's whispers so there are going to be but there's a lot of trees in this deck um and i think that's what really kind of drew me to it because the trees um kind of just sucked me in somehow so these are just beautiful these are like a little elf world aren't they Beautiful. Shift your energy. Yes, indeed. This is a high ground card. I love the way the flowers and the person all just blend in together. It's just, they're just lovely. Really, really pretty cards. And I'm kind of amazed how much I like them because like I say you know not my usual stuff um but they are so pretty and like you like I say there's just so much going on in there I mean, you could read these cards you could use the book obviously you could um but you could literally just use these cards and read them intuiti intuitively and go with you know, the symbology, there's so much going on in there. Um, you know, you just, you know, if you, with cards like this, if there's so much going on, I'll find a busy one and I'll show you. Um, just lovely, aren't they? So pretty. Just, just lovely cards. I just really love the colours. Yeah, so if I was going to read this card intuitively, because there's quite a lot going on in here. You've got like deer, um, your mushrooms. I'm not quite sure what this is, like a little marmoset monkey type of thing. You've got your flowers here, um, your lilies, your person, um, your plants, your rocks, your grounds. Um, your bird so with loads and loads of stuff going on number message so what I would usually do with all that stuff going on is I would just cover it up with my hand and then just open it and quickly look and then the first thing I noticed was the, the deer um, but then you see if then I would read intuitively based on the deer because um, the deer is quite a gentle energy so I would be kind of going with that and it is be gentle with yourself so and that's how I would read it. But also, I've just noticed this little path, you know, this journey that we're on. So, you know, loads of things are going to jump out to you. But if you're if you're struggling with a card that there's just so much going in on, on in, cover it up with your hand and then just go with the first thing that jumps out. So this is vulnerability. Culmination of vision. Intuition. Just wonderful. This was the first card that I saw in this deck, um, in the group that I was in. And it just I just blew me away. I don't even know why, because this is not my scene at all, usually. Um, but maybe there's a message in that for me because of the work that I was doing about being able to accept love. Um, you know, qu quite a lot of us are very good at giving it out. Um, not quite so good as accepting. So maybe that's something to do with that. I don't know. Um, but these are lovely. Clear endeavour. Show your support. Be in service. Just really, really like them. I've got a couple of other decks here as well that I've got to open and unbox. But I had to do these first. I was just so drawn to them. Um, this is Love Matters. Seek Beauty. How lovely is that?
empowerment gratitude and appreciation what a lovely card that is sorry we just can't get these apart at the moment a bit of fingers and thumbs as well that doesn't help okay there we go so we've got our um unicorn laughter how pretty hope and happiness all those rainbow colours in her hair. So beautiful. And heighten your vitality. And potential gateway. Oh, that's cute as well. Look at all those little animals in here. And the horses. I think there's some little rabbits and all sorts in there. Lovely. Really, really lovely deck. So I'm aware that I've kind of bombed through that a little bit. Um... But I just wanted to show you them because I just think they're stunning, really stunningly beautiful cards. And they weren't expensive either. They were not very expensive. I think I got them on Amazon. Um, and I, th oh no, I might have got them on eBay actually. Um, and I think they were literally about £12. They was not very expensive at all. Um, so they really are inexpensive and rather gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed that little flip through, just having a quick look at them and i might use them for my weekly reading this week with the tarot so hopefully look forward to using those just as a little side note i'm nearly up to 2000 uh, 200 if only 200 subscribers so thank you very much for everybody that has just come on board and thank you very much for everyone who's been with me since the beginning um and everybody in between thank you very very much um I'll be trying to plan something good to do for when we get to 200 subscribers. I'm not quite sure what yet, but I'm trying to think of something good. Um, thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.